A few weeks ago, a former NFL player's summer home was vandalized to the tune of about $20,000. Today, that same home was the site of a picnic to benefit veterans and their families. And it was an opportunity for the teenagers who trashed the house to make amends. But not many did. Lynn Falsetti shows us. It's the party gone viral that has left a community outraged. Hundreds of teens broke into ex-NFL player Brian Holloway's Steventown home, leaving behind thousands of dollars in damages and a line of evidence on social media. And it's that exposure that has parents of the teens threatening to sue Holloway for outing their kids. I don't see how that makes sense to sue someone when you destroyed their property. The football star's son took us around the property to show us some of the damages. At a picnic Saturday, some of those teens came out to help clean the mess. One of those teens was Ricky Nelson. He tells us the party was so big it was hard to walk around the house and tells us he understands why some parents are upset but wishes more people would step forward and do the right thing. I see why they're upset that like our faces are all over the news but like at the same time it is kind of important to like stop this from happening again. And like we were wrong. Now he, like many, is being harassed on Twitter and possibly facing criminal trespassing charges. Bonnie Taylor tells us her granddaughter is also facing harassment and wasn't even involved in the party, just the cleanup. Yeah, she's being harassed and bothered, and they took her out of class. She's angry with them. She's been on the phone right now trying to call some of them to get them up here to help clean up. Meanwhile, the man whose vacation home was trashed is trying to give a bigger message for those parents threatening to sue him. I don't live here. I live in Florida. Okay, these are your children, and this is your community where you are. And so if your child's diaper is full, change it. I can't spend, I, I've spent uh, 100 hours a week on this for the last two and a half weeks. I can't spend that time. I'm opening my own company. I'm already three weeks late in the launch of a social media platform for women in football. We spoke with Holloway about the potential of a lawsuit from parents. He says he not only expects it, he says it will generate even more media attention, which in turn will make things worse for those teens who attended this party. In Steventown, Lynn Falsetti, CBS 6 News. Yeah, a lot of people talking about that story. If you'd like to comment, that's always more than welcome on the CBS 6 Facebook page. You can join the conversation there.